Okay, the other day I I had the um, I had the chance to drive a model uh, Model S Tesla. Looked a little bit like this car, except it was a black car. And I want to I want to talk a little bit about the test drive I had with the car. And I don't have any video. I'm just I'm just going to give you my overall perspective and um, what I think about the car that I drove and what I think about Tesla overall and just tell you what I thought without any video showing the car, driving the car or whatever. And it wouldn't do it justice anyway. If I took the video while I was driving this car, you wouldn't be able to, to feel and have the experience of actually driving the car yourself, which I encourage anybody to do because this car is like none other. This is literally a car that when you get behind the wheel and drive it, you feel like the car is, is you don't feel like you're working or you're having to drive the car or using mental energy to drive the car. The car is almost an extension of, of yourself when you're driving it. And you really feel that. This car is so innovative and so technologically advanced that it, it so blows away anything else you can drive, it, it doesn't even compare. And once you drive this car, I don't believe that um, you probably ever want to drive or own any other car, especially, you know, a higher-end car that's in the price range that these cars are in. But anyway, well, I just want to talk a little bit about, first of all, I'd like to say that the, the car is extremely comfortable. Uh, when you get into the car, everything is extremely comfortable comfortable and within um you, you, you don't feel like anything is is not there the way it should be there it's almost everything has been pre-thought out and that's the way it should be which aren't that way with a lot of high-end expensive cars i've been in a lot of mercedes that i don't feel like um i fit in very well i just i don't like the way they sit. i don't like the way they feel i just don't like um the stiffness of the seat there's a lot of things this car really felt like i fit in um i want to talk about the wet this this one feature that this car has that is unbelievable it's 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 like nothing you can imagine that's this navigation feature when i test drove the car i test drove the car uh i was at the la jolla tesla um which you call i don't think you call them dealerships anymore the the the, the store i guess is what you would call it it's in the la jolla mall and i was in there and they offered me a test drive and there was a car there so we test drove it um, we left La Jolla, which is a very, um, an area that you don't uh, drive um, without your mind on the road. You literally have to be focused on the road the whole time you're driving in a, an area like La Jolla, California, or on the five, all throughout North County and on down into San Diego. That is very densely populated area, very difficult driving area. You have to be in the, you have to be watching the road the whole time, the front, the back, the side. The whole time. You just don't take your eyes off the road for even a second when you're driving in this kind of uh, atmosphere, this kind of area. This car, once we placed it in self-navigation mode where you could set how far you wanted to be behind the car in front of you, one car lane, two car lanes, three car lanes, four lanes, however one you wanted to, far you wanted to be, the car literally held that position on the road without touching the accelerator or the brake. And maintaining the speed that you wanted to make it make maintain it, you could set the speed and how far back you wanted to be from the other cars, and then you could literally take your hand off the steering wheel, and take your foot off the brake and the gas, and it would drive itself. Now, when I was test driving this car, I was taking my hands off the wheel, but the guy that was riding with was telling me to not do that. That's that's a little bit, you know, given the technology is able to do it. The predictability is you never know what car. I mean, there's still physics involved, and it is a big car, and it has to move. So if somebody would, for some odd reason, just decide to run into the side of you, um, I don't know if the car would the car would react. But just for safety precautions, I think they want you to have your hands on the wheel. But you don't have to. And maybe the car would react quicker than your reactions. I don't know. But maybe there's a few uh, situations out there where it wouldn't, you know, Total, maybe if something flew off the truck in front of you, you wouldn't know that, obviously. So if there was driving down the freeway and something flies off the back of a truck, the truck, the car may sense it, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know if the, how, how it all works. But they were recommending not to take your hands off the steering wheel. But you could. 
and the car would drive itself very easily. So the thing about this car that so, makes it so wonderful to drive is that it takes all the work out of driving. It takes all the work out of driving. I mean, you can see this person right here. He's, I mean, this is a video if you want to watch it on the Tesla.com. He's got his foot off the accelerator and off the brake pedal and doesn't have his hands on the steering wheel. And here's a pedestrian walking across the street. You can do that. This car will literally drive itself, which is unbelievable, especially in an area that I live in. Because an area I live in, ta uh, draining, uh, ta uh, driving can be very, very, very uh, mentally draining. So this car drives itself. Another feature about this car that is unbelievable is the fact that you don't have to use the brakes on this car. When you accelerate with this car and then you let off on the accelerator, the, 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 the system automatically slows down, knowing that you're taking your foot off the accelerator. So it's got this really... Um, I wouldn't say it's it's kind of this for a person that's used to a normal car. It's kind of strange because when you back off on the accelerator, it slows down automatically. Usually when you back off the accelerator, you're putting on the brake. But in this car, you don't have to do that. It, it does that automatically. There's so much stuff that this car does intuitively for you that it's like I say, it it really takes the driving, the, the, the work of driving out of driving. Uh, you've got this incredible screen in front of you that gives you all kinds of navigational information down below you can you can you can be on the internet uh there's certain things they don't allow you to see like youtube and video and stuff like that but you have you have the internet here the car communicates with tesla all the time so tesla knows exactly how the car is running and what how it's operating and working i mean there's no way anybody could ever steal this car because it's it's a smart car and it's literally connected to 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 tesla so this is an amazing car and um it's a car that is revolutionized the way people are going to drive um it's like no other car i've ever driven before and i'm i'm to a point now that no matter what i need to do to get a tesla that's what i'm going to do because there, there wouldn't be any way i would drive anything else even if it were you know some amazing car that i got from some amazing price i still wouldn't buy it I'd still have to have the Tesla. Not to mention the fact that this Tesla is extremely fast. When you push on the accelerator, this thing will set you right back in your seat. I mean, I've driven some fast cars in my time, uh, but I've never driven anything like this. I've never driven anything like this. I mean, the car I drive daily is a fairly quick car, but it's not nearly as quick as the Tesla. So uh, this Tesla thing is, um, is really amazing. This car is amazing. I can't say anything. I can't say too much about it because it was blown away. So all I've been thinking about since I drove this car yesterday is how, how do I get a Tesla? Or how could I how somehow to buy a Tesla? Now there's a there's a there's a place that, that I see and it's called Copart. I'll go there for you really quick. But what Copart is is it's a, a salvage it's not salvage, it's a uh, auction website where you can buy vehicles that have been broken and if you go here you can look at the tesla and let's just look at the tesla model a's uh, model s pull some up here for us and take a look but they have them for sale and it's it's you could see this one's been flooded water damage and the estimated retail value on the car is sixty thousand dollars but right now they have a forty dollar bid that's not $4,000. That's $40. Now, that's not going to buy this car because no one's going to sell it for 40 bucks. But uh, you're going to be able to buy this car for pretty, pretty for a lot less than what you pay for this car brand new. I mean, or what the car is uh, uh, worth, which is 60 grand. Okay, one of the issues is I don't think I'd be buying a flooded car that's an electric car, even though there are probably a lot of good parts off this car. But the other issue... Is and I've I've been watching some like this one right here. This may this might not be. Let me look one that's got a pretty high bid on it. Oh, uh, let's see here. This is ten grand. Um, sometimes if you look off to the right, they'll say this one looks like it could. What I say here, this could be engine starts. Okay, it runs. Let me look at the second page. What they got? Usually they don't have a whole lot of Teslas on Copart, but they do have them. Like this one right here, they've got a current bid of twenty-three thousand dollars. 
So this Tesla probably is in pretty decent shape. You're still looking, oh, here's one for 50 grand. So they've got a current bid of 50 grand. And it's an $86,000 car. So you're looking like yeah, that, uh, you know, $36,000, um, uh, 50, 60, 70, yeah, what, uh, 20, uh, yeah, $36,000. Uh, savings and let's look at the car and see what it looks like and you can see there's not much damage to this car um actually this is the other model the Goldwing one but um yeah this is the model x but you can see there's probably not that much damage to the car but um you still might not want to purchase these cars even though it looks very like you know let me find one here that's not, that's not beat up too bad this one looks like this has got uh, let me oh let's look at this one right here uh this is a is this an s let's see if this is an s that's a model 40 but let me see if i can find a model s it's, that's got a pretty high bid on it um well look let's just look at this one right here because this is an eleven thousand dollar bid which for copart is a, is a pretty good bid on a tesla but see, if you look at this car, it's got sure it's going to have to have a a a, 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 a windshield. It's going to have to have a a hood, fender, and stuff. But if the majority of the car is still there, you're you're looking at a huge savings to buy this car. But the only problem with this is, and I've looked into this as far as buying one of these cars, because uh, I can buy cars on Copart. You have to put all your information and give them your identification and a few other things or you can have a somebody that's a uh, a broker buy one for you and I, I don't think it's only a few hundred dollars to have a broker buy one so you can buy one of these cars off a of copart the only problem by buying a tesla from a company or an auction that has said the car is salvaged is tesla may not allow you to charge it from their superchargers and also, they may not allow, allow you to, they may not sell you parts if the car is in um, a salvage condition. Because Tesla is very concerned about their, um, the state of their reputation. And it, unlike another car, if I was driving a Ford down the road and it burned up, um, it wouldn't probably make much news. But if I, if I drove a Tesla down the road and it burned up, it would be all over the news. So Tesla has a lot of lot a lot at stake as far as the fact that this car is being highly scrutinized right now, and they want to make sure these cars are all worthy and these cars are all able to drive and function properly, especially given all the amount of uh, of technology involved there. So buying a, a car from Copart may not be the best way to go. Although I have seen a few people do it, and there's a couple guys. In fact, I think this guy named Car Guru. Who has an internet website, or who has a he actually trades parts? Bought a flooded car for six thousand bucks, and I think he was able to sell enough parts and put the car back together and not spend much money on it. So he got a Tesla for six thousand bucks plus his time of fixing it, which who knows how long that was. But these Tesla cars are amazing cars. Um, like I said, you can, you can look at women and looking, maybe maybe there's people that know a lot more about this than I do as far as Copart's concerned. I've just watched a few videos on it. But you can buy a, a pretty, pretty, you know, a Tesla that doesn't look like it has a whole lot of body damage for a lot less money. Now, how that plays out with Tesla being able to, um, you know, make you, make, make you know, maybe Tesla has to inspect it to, to give you the okay that, we're we're going to go ahead and sell you parts for this car. We're going to go ahead and let your car be um, a car that we um, that we're all right with. I don't know. All that's probably yet to be seen. How Tesla plays that out. But anyway, this is a pretty crazy, crazy, crazy car that I think will definitely. If the more people drive them, the more people are going to be buying these things. They're not cheap. The car I drove was a hundred thousand dollars, and that's not with everything with everything on it. That was a lot of stuff not on it. It was a really kind of more of a of a mid range um, equipment, um, but it had the good stuff on. It. it had the navigation stuff on it. It had it didn't have the super fast battery, but it had a 
it was, you know, like the mid range battery as far as how far it would drive and what so and further. So I, mean, I love this car. I absolutely love this car. I can't even tell you how much I love this car. Um, I wouldn't drive anything but this car knowing that this car exists. Um, I wouldn't even go I, before I, before I drive by any other car, I'd ride around with my moped until I've saved enough money to buy this car. That's how much I love this car. How, what I think a, a tremendous car it is. Not to mention that Tesla also sells you solar for your house. So you can do the whole thing. You can do the solar for your house and then do the solar for the Tesla and you can do the whole nine yards. So this thing is an amazing, amazing, amazing car. I can't say enough about it. I love the car. Uh, I wish I could have taken it home with me that day, but um, we were just a few dollars apart in price. I mean, from what I could pay and what it was with the car cost. And the other thing you have to consider too is uh, it's a beautiful car and it's nice to drive and you love it, but there's so many places right now where money is, is, I mean, with the cryptocurrency, especially EOS, I see has gone up a lot last week. Um, Bitcoin's still around the same, but there's a few others coming up where there's so much uh, opportunity with the, uh, with the cryptocurrencies to make money. You hate to tie up a lot of money in a car like this when there's other things to invest in, not to mention the fact that Southern California real estate is always appreciating. So yeah, it's a big chat. It's, it's, it's a lot of money and it is a sacrifice to buy a car like this, but there's just no other car that, 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 that would even come close. To be in a car like this, I mean, I would never, ever buy any kind of car. It, it, you know, unless maybe you just bought a beater, and you just wanted to run around in a beater for a little bit. So, anyway, that was my perspective or my views on the Tesla. I loved it. I can't wait to get one. I'm hoping that somehow something happens that we'll be able to buy one one of these days. But uh, it's an amazing car. I wouldn't buy a used car. I'll probably have to buy the brand new one, simply because of the of the issues with maybe somebody, you know something on it i would just definitely buy the brand brand new one or one that you buy from tesla i think tesla does have used cars for sale but i would definitely go through tesla to buy the car wouldn't go through anybody else so um that's about it uh one other thing that i'd like to say is i, I don't ever ask people to sub subscribe to my channel i just don't do it because i don't have um i don't make much money from this channel very little but um I never ask people to, because this is something I do for my own entertainment, and I do it for other people to, to watch. And if they like it, they like it, they don't. That's fine. But I do it mainly for myself, and I do it because I try to talk about the things I like to talk about. And I like to talk about politics. I like to talk about things that interest me, like the Tesla car. And then I like to talk about the cryptocurrencies, because that's very fascinating to me. In the early parts of my channel, I would talk about um, building websites and... Um, a little bit of programming. I'm not a great programmer, but I can do a little bit of programming. And I, I like to talk about some of that stuff. But in the beginning, I'd talk about that. But I just talk about a little bit of everything. What I would like to have people do is subscribe to the channel. I mean, I'm, I'm going to, you know, because I, I'm at a point now where I'm getting just enough subscribers to where if I could get a few more, um, I could do a few more things with the channel. So, um, like I say, I've, I've had a, a number of subscribers for over the year. I mean, I, I, you know, you, you get some, you lose some, and then you get some, and you lose some. But I'm getting to a, a point where I'm just starting to be, with just a few more, I would I would have a few advantages that I don't have now. So if you would subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. This is the very first time I've ever asked anybody to subscribe to, subscribe to this channel. And I think I have probably close to 600, 600 videos out. So anyway, please subscribe. You don't have to put the notification bell on so you see every time I make a video because I usually make a video every day, but just subscribe to, to the to the uh, channel. And I appreciate it, and I'll keep making videos, and hopefully you'll find something that you find uh, entertaining. I appreciate it. Thanks very much.